Hello, this is Vampire. First of all, let me say that I am a huge fan of uh, the Twisted Metal franchise, okay? Uh, this is for the PS3, and uh, when this first came out, I did a first impressions uh, video review for you guys, and I think it was a pretty positive one. I remember enjoying it, and then I got busy, and I hadn't played it in a long time. Uh, until recently, I saw on YouTube some video reviews that were just very, very negative. They were completely hating on it. Um, I think one guy even said that it was the worst PS3 game ever. Uh, and, and other people said that it was just a huge, huge disappointment. Alright, so, you know, I'm a fan of the franchise and I gotta be with the underdog here, so I started playing it again, okay? And uh, in this video, what I want to do is explore perhaps why maybe uh, it wasn't a big success like it should have been because it seems like it what it didn't do too well and uh, Which is a darn shame because I'm waiting for the movie. I thought this was going to be a huge success People were going to be talking about Twisted Metal, you know from this point on and uh, Yeah, I, I, I was gonna see it in the movie theater. All right, but apparently that's not what happened Okay, so let me let me uh, try to explore some of that the reasons for that. Okay, uh, in my opinion, a good video game consists of these three things, okay? Game mechanics, gameplay, and story. In my opinion, you need all three of these things, and all three needs to be done well, okay? Not one can be really missing. Uh, if you notice in here, it doesn't say uh, super graphics or uh, awesome cutscene cinema, nothing like that, okay? Uh, to me, this is the essence right here, and uh, I, th I saw an interview where David Jaffe kind of hinted out the same thing. He said, look, with the graphics and stuff, leave me alone. I'm focusing on, on the gameplay, all right? So that, uh, that was really cool, and that made sense to me. You know, he said, I, I enjoy playing this game. I'm a fan of, of this myself. That's what he said, and, and it's his baby and, and all that. So that was really cool to hear that he was going to focus more on that than the eye candy type stuff. All right, uh, so let's, for just for an example, let me get the classic board game of chess, okay? The classic board game of chess put into this format, okay? Game mechanics, solid, solid game mechanics. Uh, the game has been around for hundreds of years. If you're talking about the original version from India, uh, it may even be thousands of years, okay? So solid game mechanics, gameplay, is to be honest, I don't think it's really uh, necessarily a fun game. Uh, it's very competitive. If you're playing against someone that's better than you, it can be very, very frustrating. If you're playing someone uh, against somebody that's like way beneath your level, that's also frustrating. And if you're playing against someone that's around your level, it's going to be very, very. Uh, I don't want to say stressful, but it's going to it's going to really, really push you uh, mentally. So it's a tough game. And uh, it's not necessarily for fun, but I think we all know that chess, we put it in almost like an educational type board game where it develops thinking power, develops strategy and stuff like that. So that's the kind of, we understand that and we accept that uh, from chess, okay? So we're not looking necessarily for a very, very fun, easygoing, quick playing uh, board game, okay? Story, not pretty much non-existent, okay? The game is abstract. So, uh, no story. So now let's get Twisted Metal, the new Twisted Metal game, and let's put it in here, all right? Game mechanics. Um, some people have complained that the controls are, uh, like, every button does something. It's just too much. It's too confusing. Um, my take on that is basically uh, when you first play Street Fighter, like when I was playing Street Fighter in the very beginning, I could not do a fireball. I could not do a... a a dragon punch or super uppercut. Uh, you know, I basically had two moves, but as I started playing more and more, uh, you start increasing your your repertoire, and and that's what happens. So here, uh, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, and I th I think, uh, from my understanding, David Jaffe put in a lot of effort here in the game mechanics to to basically so you could do a lot. All right, and I think that's very very cool to make it a very technical game to make the game very deep, kind of like Street Fighter, it's deep, the rock, paper, scissors aspect, make it very solid and deep, all right? Uh, let's skip gameplay, let's go to story. Story-wise, 
if we compare it to all the other Twisted Metal games made previously, all of them, I think the story is fascinating, the concept's interesting, uh, so the potential here for a good story is, is no problem, and I think David Jeffy said that he really focuses on developing at least the three different uh, main characters for the game. And uh, so I, I personally haven't played enough to discover this, so I can't really tell you, but I think the story here is also going to be solid. My gripe, I think, is here, gameplay. And I think this is the problem with the game, and I think this is the problem that the general public is having, is really right here, okay? Uh, the gameplay feels limited, and I don't mean limited by the what characters can you choose and stuff like that. I mean limited as in when I'm actually playing the stages, all right, some stages are, are forcing me to, to do things, all right, it's like a mission-based game where I have to do this first, this next, and then this third, all right, uh, th yeah, there's a big problem with that limitation, uh, Twisted Metal games are hard generally, uh, a lot of times, uh, like Black was very, very difficult starting off, but as I got better and better, all right, as you get better and better, this starts to improve. My understanding of the game mechanics gets better. And I discover more and more of the story because I'm playing more. But the problem is if I'm not playing more and I feel limited here, then I'm not going to progress in story. So I'm not going to get to find out the story. And I'm not going to learn the game mechanics. So that's what's happening to me here. Okay, so this, because this feels so limited, I'm not able to do to see more of the story and, and this I'm not able to spend uh, a whole lot of fun time playing the way that I want and, and learning this the way I just learned is by playing and slowly learning my own strategies that way I, I think everybody does okay and that's not happening uh, the, the limitation here look uh, I did a Twisted Metal Black review and one of my ideas in, in the game was I was thinking it would be really really cool if you had like a race track in, in one of the stages and you could actually get on the racetrack and you can compete and try to uh, make a new record-breaking time and if you do that then you get rewarded with cool items you know something like that all right uh, bonus features but um, the whole idea of that was that it was optional like as even it, as you're racing let's say you mess up all right and your times like oh man this this I already messed up then at that point you could just start going back to the normal vehicular combat and just start blowing each other up and just ignore the racing game, all right? That would have been great, okay? But notice that it's not forcing me to play the racing game. The problem with the new game is that it forces you to do that kind of stuff, okay? Uh, so to me, to me, is that a big deal? Yes, it's a big deal because uh, when you're looking at Twisted Metal, the, the evolution, when it first started off, we had very interesting stages like in Twisted Metal 1 okay you had different stages that you get to explore so that was kinda like yes it is a fighting game with cars okay just like Street Fighter but you have cars but because you have cars now you can roam around the arena and discover the arena alright that's very very cool okay and and that's kinda like a predecessor of open world if you think about it okay and then the next uh, thing that we saw was bigger stages more creative stages hidden areas that you can go into uh, once again becoming more like open world and then uh, my understanding of Twisted Metal Black the, the sequel that they wanted to do Harbor City was they were gonna link the stages together like on a map now we're talking once again one step closer to open world and then in Twisted Metal Head On, we got to see uh, like this prototype game where you're going to run around as Sweet Tooth trying to get out of an asylum. I thought it was going to be like Grand Theft Auto now where basically you're going to be like, uh, you know, one of the characters like Sweet Tooth or Dollface or a any of the characters. You're going to roam around, do that stuff, collect money, you know, blow people away, whatever. And then you, you get in the car and then you have your boss fights. And so it's kind of like two games combined in one, all right? And, and you're still free to do whatever you want. That's what I was expecting out of this one, all right? An open world game. It didn't happen. In fact, uh, I feel like we went a step backwards where it's more limiting now. So that that is I, my gripe with it. But, okay, the good thing is you could completely ignore this. It's a bummer. It's a bummer because this, the story 
you know, wanting to know more about the story. And then as I'm playing here, it's also going to help me uh, improve with the game mechanics, more skill, all right, more technique, more strategies. All right, it's a bummer. But if you completely eliminate this and you just play the challenge mode, uh, it's a solid game. I, I don't think you can take that away just because here is solid and I think here is, is going to be solid too. I can look this up on YouTube so you know I'm sure I can enjoy it that way. So this will be solid, this is solid. It's this to me you know uh, really the, the chess aspect, the rock paper scissor aspect is solid here but that's not the same as this alright and I think that was the problem here, okay? Uh, is that what do you do with a fighting game where, you know, stage one, stage two, stage three, it's just you're just fighting, you're just fighting. Same with a car combat game, you're just fighting, fighting, fighting. You can try to change things up, you can try to make it more creative, but uh, so I can understand why they did that, but once again, limiting is no good. Uh, but when, if I'm just playing the challenge mode, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm having a blast, so. Uh, that's my perspective, okay, and uh, look, I, I still like the game, I'm still a proud owner, and uh, I'm still going to be playing it, and hopefully, as I play the challenge modes, and I get better and better at that, I can come back over here, and then hopefully I'll be able to discover more, more of these areas. So anyway, thank you for listening, and uh, take care guys.